Hello, Divination, and welcome. In today's video, I'm going to show you step-by-step -step how to create a frosted glass background design in Divi. This is the final result we're aiming to achieve, so without wasting a lot of time, let's dive in and let's get started. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is to create a brand new page. So I'm going to now come over here to Pages, click on Add New. Let's give this page a name, and then we're going to click on Use Divi Builder. Okay, so for this design, we're going to build everything from scratch. So I'm going to click on Start Building. I'm going to close this for now. Go into my section settings. And what we're going to do here is to add a background image. So I'm going to come over here to Background and then click on the third tab. Click on the plus button. I have several images here, so I'm going to go with this one and click on Upload Image. So this is our image now in our background. So that's all I need to do here. I'm going to go ahead and save. Next, we're going to come over here and add a single column. And we're just going to go straight into our row settings. So here we are going to add a background color. So I'm going to go into my background here, click on this plus button. So the color we need to add here is going to have some transparency. So I'm just going to drag this down here so I can get my RGBA values. And these are the values that you need to paste in here. Okay, so uh, all this can be found in the link, which I will add in the video description below. So now that we've added this, the next step now is to just make finer adjustments here. So I'm going to click on the design tab, click on sizing. And here we're going to set our width to 90% and our maximum width to 900 pixels. We're also going to add a bit of spacing around uh, this column. So I'm going to come over here to spacing and set this to a padding of 5% all around. So this just gives all the content in this row some breathing space. Okay, so now that I've added all that, I have a bit of CSS code that we can use to get that frosted look. So to add it, we need to come over here to advanced, custom CSS, and this is where you want to paste it. Okay, so there we go. So just by pasting this, you can see now that we have this frosted look. So just go ahead and um, add the CSS code again. I will link it to the blog posts in the show notes below. So let's say you want to adjust the amount of blur. All you have to do is to set it here. So you can see as I go to say, for example, to zero and also do the same here. You can see that there's no blur there. But as soon as I start uh, bringing this up, let's say to 50, you can see now that's completely blurred everything. So you just want to make sure you add a value that works for you. So I'm going to go with 10 pixels and then save. Now we need to add content into this area right here. So I'm going to click on this plus button and I'm going to add my text module. I'm going to select it. So this is where now we need to add our text. So I'm going to add my main heading. I'm going to set this to heading 2. I'm also going to need uh, some paragraph text. So this text here is just going to be, you know, your basic uh, lorem ipsum text. So this can just be our normal uh, paragraph text. Now we need to style this text. So to do that, we are now going to go into the design tab. So I'm going to come over here. Okay, so let's start with our main paragraph text here. So I'm going to click on this little paintbrush icon. So first things first, I'm going to add my color. I'm going to paste it in here like that. Now, if you want to use the exact same colors as I'm using throughout this tutorial, I will leave a link uh, to the blog post in the video description below. Okay, now let's go to our font weight. So right now it's on regular. Let's set it to semi bold. And we also need to set our size here to 16. Next, we're going to come over here to our text line height. We're going to set it to 2 EM. And for our font, we're going to set this to Poppins. Click here and search for my font and select it. Now let's work on the uh, heading. So I'm going to click again on this uh, paintbrush icon. So as you can see, this is heading two selected. Uh, we're going to change our font weight here to bold. We're going to make it all caps. And for our text alignment, it's going to be to the left. For our font here, we also need to make sure it's set to pop-ins. I'm going to add my text color. Again, I want to paste it in here. And as I mentioned before, I will leave a link to that in the video description below. All right, so let's take a look now at our heading text size. We're going to set this to 70 because we want it nice and big. 
Next, we're going to come over here to the letter spacing, set this to 2. And for our line height, we're going to set this to 1.3. So we just want you know, some beautiful spacing for our text over here. So as you can see, this is looking much, much better now. And uh, I really like the result here. So let's go ahead and uh, save this. So now you can see that uh, as the mountains are going across here, this now uh, looks blurred or frosted or however you want to call it. So that is how you do this. It's very straightforward. All the CSS code will be um, in the video description below. So you can go ahead and just copy and paste it. So this style here can be used uh, if you want to use parallax. You can use this in so many ways. So um, there's uh, further examples in the blog post, which I'll link to in the video description below. So, all right, guys, uh, this is what I have for you in this video. So there you have it. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and do follow us on our social media platforms. By doing so, you'll be notified every time we release new tutorials. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.